So this is the first time I'm doing a client interview for Rapid Fire Music Academy, and I couldn't be more excited to be with my amazing client, Ange. What's good? You're the amazing one. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her to say that before this started. That's funny. Uh <laughs> No, nah, I mean, I'm, thank you. We're both. We can both be amazing together. It's all G. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So we can grab yeah, that. Yeah. So you and I connected via Instagram and we've been working together for like a couple of months. I think we're like going into the third month of the program. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And uh, just kind of like, maybe like introduce yourself, talk about where you were at before you started working with me and kind of where you're at now. Cool. All right, what's up? I'm Ange. Um, before I started working with Lee, I feel like I was kind of in a bit of a lost phase where I was trying to figure out like what to do next with my music. Um, it was taking me like at least like three months to make a song um, in terms of like the whole process from like writing to like mixing and mastering. Uh, now I'm doing it though in like uh, less than a month. I think I've made two songs, like full songs since I've been working with Lee. That's like less than three months, I think. Um, and then I've also just learned a lot about like sales and marketing and like how to run an artist music business. Uh, yeah. That's great. Both the songs are bangers too, which is great. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, that's great. It's part of the guarantee is that I guarantee that you'll get at least one song done that you're excited to release, not just like get a song done. So yeah. you've got two. So that's, that's yeah. great. That's great. So um, one thing I want to, I want to, I have a couple of questions written down, but before I get into it, there's one I want to, I want to ask specific. Um, okay. I've noticed like when I talk to artists, a lot of them, like if you ask any artists, like what is your biggest challenge? What do you need the most help with? Most of them say something along the lines of like marketing, fan base growth or something like that. And yeah, for sure. my whole premise of kind of everything is like a little bit of a different, like I look at things a little differently. Um, I kind of look at things kind of like you should have a control of the quality of your music and consistency. Like that's like the whole point of rapid fire music Academy. Um, could you share your thoughts in terms of like, share your thoughts on that? Maybe if you want to talk about like, what you thought before the program, what you think now, like just kind of give your thoughts on like that whole thing. Yeah, for sure. I think I've learned a lot from you actually in this, like for in terms of this like idea, because you're right. Like most artists are always thinking about marketing, like, or how do they get more followers, how do they get more streams and stuff, but they don't really worry about the quality of the music. Cause I think as artists, we're all like so connected to the music, right? Like it's like a piece of you. So right. Um, yeah, this definitely something I used to think before. It was like, how do I get my marketing like and dialed in? How do I market my music properly to like get streams? And all I was mm. focused on really was getting streams. Mm. So now I think I've like completely flipped that into now I'm working more on like the quality of my music for sure and the quality of my production, but also like understanding that I mean streams wasn't really getting me anywhere, except for maybe like clout. Like it doesn't get make you any money. And that's like to have a business, you gotta make money. So I really think like that was a big turning point for me. It was just like your whole idea of focusing on the music and like making music consistently and being able to consistently put out music is way more important than like being able to market it. Yeah. And once you can consistently put out music, yes, you marketing is a conversation. Yeah. About it. But well, we even talked about Russ in like one of our first calls, um, where it's like he didn't have any marketing strategy, it was just putting out music. But like, as he kept doing that, the music got really damn good. And then after that, like, he was able to make money from it and market it and create the empire that he has, right? So, definitely, he's a big topic of combo. He's, I mean, I mentioned him in the program, he's my biggest inspiration, like, he's who got me yeah, to produce. So, me yeah, too. totally. And it's like, Exactly like what you just said, you know, um, it's, it's hard to market yourself. Like I literally like looked at myself as a starving artist, um, before I was producing. Cause I, 
because the thought that kept coming across my mind was when, where am I going to get my next song from? And then I realized like, God, that sounds a lot like, where am I going to get my next meal from? And I was like, I yeah. literally feel like a starving artist, like not like to the term of like, you're poor, but like starving, like mm -hmm. starving. Cause I'm saying the same things that like a poor person or a homeless person might say. And I'm like, I don't want to be that. So yeah, like it's exactly what you said. You got to have consistency with the music and consistent quality too. Cause you can put out songs often, but if they're not good or if you don't own the rights to them and it's like, mm -hmm. what game are you playing? You know? Yeah. Or if it costs you like hundreds of dollars to get the production and then to get the mixing and mastering, like, you know, game end up costing you like on a minimum, like 500 bucks for a song. Yeah. yeah. And you could end up making like nothing back on that if you're just thinking about streams. So. And you don't own the song. You don't fully own it because yeah. you got to split it with the producer. So it's like, well, now what are we, now we're, we're still playing a small game. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. yeah. So fully producing is a big thing. Um, It's important. And you, you were already self-producing before, but it was taking you so long. So like, what was the obstacle? Well, let me ask you this. What was the obstacle that would have prevented you from joining rapid fire music Academy? Mm. Um probably like financially like it was a big investment for sure I don't think I've actually like bought a course or a program um, or like invested in myself kind of the way I did with like rapid fire oh, and cool. at first I was a little bit like a little bit worried I was like shit like what did I do but by the time we started getting into coaching calls which is like the next week and I actually realized how much value I was getting from just like having conversations with you and it was like a no brainer. I kind of like that, that completely like went out of my mind. That's tight. Cool. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yeah, yeah no, nah, shit. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. It was, but it's value. Yeah. Buying beats is cheap. So you can do that if you want to be cheap and you can buy beats for 30 bucks, but you want to work with me. If you want to get results in life, it's just not going to be a cheap thing. And I'm glad that you made the, the leap. Um, I'm proud of you for that. Yeah. Cause that's hard. It's fucking hard. So, Thank you. Yeah. so like, what did you end up finding as a result from getting into rapid fire music Academy? So much, I think I've like figured out or I've gone my way to like understanding how to do every aspect of like running my business and how to like the tasks I need to complete and like the how to set goals for everything and like I think I've the biggest thing I've gotten out of this is just like understanding how to run like an artist music business and like learning from somebody who's actually done it like shows you that it's possible so it's almost like more empowering too because like I've had business um like mentors but all like they can really teach you is like how to run a business but it's not necessarily specific to like your industry, right? Yeah. 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 It's it's not. Okay. Cool. That's great. That's great. So what specific feature did you like the most about Rapid Fire Music Academy? Definitely the coaching. I just like really enjoy our coaching calls. I think the, that's where I get the most out of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and yeah, I always leave like feeling inspired and I learn a lot and I get to ask like specific questions, right? Like if something comes up that like I was watching in the videos or um, like, I mean, in our first coaching call, you showed me some like books and like videos to watch and stuff. So like questions about that, I can always ask you. And I think the coaching also is like kind of outside of the calls too, like just being able to like shoot you a text if I need something or if I have a question or if I want to send you a mix, like I'd say definitely that like one-on-one -on -one, um, like coaching relationship is like what I value the most. Yeah, that's awesome. Me too. I love our calls. Like I super look forward <laughs> to them. They're hella fun. Like, yeah, no. And I've worked with people one-on-one -on -one where like, I don't look forward to the calls, like real shit. Like I'm like, oh, like, even if they paid me, like it's, it's beyond that, you know, it's more of like the vibe and like the energy between the people. Yeah. I care more about that than, Oh, how much money. And yeah, I've had a client before that. I was like, Oh, fuck, I don't want to talk to this person. And <laughs> you know, you know, and it's, it, it happens, but yeah, 
So that's great. I'm glad that that's a, um, I'm glad that that's been valuable for you. It's good. Um, what would be three other benefits to like about rapid fire music Academy? Um, the first thing was probably the first thing I learned, which was just about like setting up yourself for success. So like, even though I had a lot of gear to begin with, like I had like monitors and headphones, um, mm. like learning about like the actual RAM of your computer or like the storage you need, that was really important. Um, and then I think getting into the production, like even though I've been producing for three years, I've used like complete like stock sound. I have a couple waves plugins, okay. but I was like, I was really trying to do it like on a budget. But I think you taught me that investing in my production only made it better, like exponentially better. Like <laughs> I actually have like seen myself improve like so much in terms of production engineering, like mixing and mastering just in the past like two months. Um, I probably learned more than I have in like a year of just trying to teach myself with like YouTube university and like reading books and stuff. Um, yeah, those two things for sure. And then I honestly like the biggest thing for me is like being able to send you my mixes mm. and like getting feedback from another artist who can like hear things better than I can. Because a lot of the artists that I know are around my like stage, around my level. Like, although like they may have some skills that are they're better at me than like it's kind of they'll kind of hear what I hear. So it's totally different having somebody who's been with in this industry way longer than I have and like has more experience making music themselves. Okay. That's, that's still, yeah. yeah. So, so interesting. Like, you know, one of the things I take for granted in my own career, like I've, I have friends, I've been really rare to have, I call them decade homies that I've literally had friends. I've had multiple friends. I've had friends that have been my friends for over 10 years. So, and we all do music, like not all yeah, of them. That's used, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Not all of them um, used to do music and some kind of still don't, but m pretty much now <laughs> it's like all my homies do music and we've been friends for over 10 years. And so I have had this like send mix back and forth community for that long, you know? And it's yeah. just like something I just was like, I just assumed everyone had that. And talking with more people i'm like oh not everyone has this and i realized that was a big part of what i want to include in rapid fire music academy was making my clients feel like they have that making them feel like yo you could send your mix over through whatsapp or text or email i'm like i'm gonna pop it in the headphones and i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a real valid listen so that you know like so that i know how to help you the most and i'm glad that you found that beneficial that's great that's awesome so all right, so um, would you recommend the Rapid Fire Music Academy to other people and then why? Oh, absolutely. I already was thinking of recommending it to one of my friends. I just wasn't sure if she was like at the stage of her career where she wants to produce. Um, but yeah, like absolutely I would. Um, I've just learned so much and like I've in a better direction with my career and I feel like I have a more control and like, yeah, I would absolutely recommend it. And I just love working with you. Like you're a great person and you have great energy. Um, so I definitely recommend this program to anyone. So I'm glad I appreciate that. Wow. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, awesome. And if somebody's on the fence financially, most of the people I talk to want to do it, but they're like kind of what you said. You were like at the beginning, you said the obstacle would have been like money. Mm -hmm. what would you say to somebody like what, what what would you recommend that they do or like where would you where do you think they should stand on it um, the first thing I would say is like it's a long-term investment so like the knowledge that you would get out of this program and like the and the skills that that it's, a, it's worth the money yes but it's like it's long term you like you'll have this knowledge and you'll be skills for the rest of your life like you'll only be able to build on that so I think like 
you got to you got to switch your brain a little bit from thinking like oh I'm going to lose a grand or more um and think like oh what like I'm gaining all of these skills all this knowledge like this relationship with Lee like you know there's things that you're gaining that are more valuable than the short term loss of a bit of money and it's not really a loss to transfer so talk about that real quick what you just said it's not a loss it's a transfer what do you mean by that well, I mean like I'm transferring money to you in exchange for value right right that 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 that's a that's a big one like the loss thing like people think they're losing money it's like Mm-hmm. you're you know i like yeah. to think of it as you're investing in yourself like I, I guess technically you're giving me the money but it is more for you than it is for me you know what i mean yeah i think about it as investing yourself too i think like just being in like the music industry we've we've talked about this before too like there's still a lot of people who like try to scam you and yeah. it's so common so i i understand why it's like difficult for artists specifically to think like can i trust this person but I feel like you just get the vibe if from, just from talking to you, like right away in our first phone call, I just like, I, even though I didn't even know what your offer was, I knew that I wanted to work with you. Mm. Oh, I appreciate so, that. like, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Like people will literally put more effort and thought into like maybe investing in the stock market than they'll invest in themselves. That's yeah. crazy, you know? And <laughs> Alex Hermosi, who we you and I talk about all the time. Alex Hermosi talks about investing in the S and the S instead of the S and P five hundred, invest in the S and me five hundred. You know. Oh yeah. Like, you know, like investing the return that you like the re- the rate of return. You know, if you're really mm-hmm. good at investing in the stock market, you get like eight to ten percent a year, which is like great. But if you invest in yourself, you spend a thousand dollars on a program. And then like you learn how to make $2,000 after it's like, well, you just did a 100 X or yeah. Like a 200 X yeah. return. It's like, that's way better than that fucking stock market. Yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah. And actually I think this kind of goes back to like the question you asked before about the three other benefits, mm. but I think um, just uh, not having like one source of information or like, uh, instead of going to like reading multiple articles from different places or like watching YouTube videos or like reading different books, it's it's easier when you have one source of information of people someone to learn from versus like looking for multiple different things and trying to piece it together. Mm. Oh, okay. You know, that's interesting you say that because that's how I compare Rapid Fire Music Academy to learning how to produce on YouTube. Cause I learned how hmm. to produce on YouTube. I didn't have a mentor. Um, yeah. But it took me over five years to get great. And yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like it takes yeah. so long in comparison. Yeah. And I had to learn a lot of tactics by myself. Like my vocal chain, like the rapid fire recording template. I made that, you know, I thought of that. Yeah. Like my homie Corey helped me develop it, but I didn't find that on a YouTube video. And the rapid fire mastering template I got from YouTube videos, but I also had to do like develop it myself, the mixing template, the vocal, all this shit. Like I'm, I made it, but you get it. Like you'll never get what I gave you from a YouTube video. Cause it's like, I didn't get it from a YouTube video. I had to learn it myself. Yeah. And this also connects to like something Alex Hermosi says uh, about, um, what is it? Uh, my brain just went blank. Purchasing something. Oh, purchasing like your mistakes. Like you're when I'm buying like this product, like mm-hmm. I'm I'm paying to not have to go through all of the failures, so to speak, that you did. Like I have to make the mistakes that you did, all the trial and error, right? Like I I'm paying to like accelerate that <laughs> essentially. Yeah. yeah. I'm like yeah. jealous <laughs> of my clients. I it sounds like so like arrogant but, no, but like, i'm so jealous of my clients because i'm like what the fuck like you get something i wish i i would have got when i was mm-hmm. starting my production journey and my music journey um yeah so yeah exactly like yeah you can go learn for free on youtube but you going from where you are to where you want to be is still a big question mark if you go on youtube but if you work mm-hmm. with the rapid fire music academy it'll literally you'll you'll be there in three months or less 
Maybe. I mean, you honestly yeah. got there in like less, like you produced those two tracks in less. I mean, we're in the third. Well, I just looked by the way, we did our ninth call, right? Oh yeah. Oh them, shoot. We've been doing them about once a week. So it's like in two yeah. months you got there. Like you made two songs in two months. Your first song you made in less than a month and they're both bangers. And it's like, you used to take three months to make songs. And now you've made two in two months, you know? Yeah. And you're literally just going to keep getting and, better and faster. And like having the accountability too, of like, even if I wasn't going to work on a song for a week, like if I knew I was going to the coaching call next week and you were going to ask me, so like, how is it going on the mix? Like I would want to have something done to show you. Right. So yeah, that's definitely a huge um, part of it too. Yeah, totally. That's, that's great. I'm glad that that helps. Yeah. You're not going to get that from YouTube either. <laughs> Like, yeah, exactly. You know, you're not even going to get it if you just buy a course. Like if, if you just bought like the course for, like, let's say I sold just the course, which I don't, but if I sold the course for 500 mm -hmm. or a thousand, it's like, you're not going to get it from just watching videos. Yeah, you that's know, true. Straight up. So, well, that's great. That's another benefit. Like the, the accountability, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the coaching is my favorite part. Cause I feel like there are so many other benefits, like intertwined in that one, like offer for that one part of the program. Right. Totally. Yeah. I'm glad that that helps. Um, that's great. That's great. You know, for my feedback too, like I'm early on, like what would you, we've kind of talked about this a little, but what would you add to the program? What do you feel like could be something I add to it? And that would be really helpful. I know that you want to do this already, but I just think that that group, um, the group calls or like having a good group chat with like everybody that's in the program, like that would be really cool, especially for like what we talked about with them um, sending mixes, mm. because then also you get like more people to listen to it if they can and like to get their feedback. And um, it's more about like that long term like relationship, right, with the people that are in the program as well. But I know that's something that you want to do and like you're building towards. So that's definitely like a, would be like an addition. Um, other than that, like pretty solid with the way the course is going and like, uh, yeah, everything was good so far. Like I have no complaints. Dope. Well, that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, last thing is like, do you have any other like kind of like final closing thoughts or anything else you'd want to add? No, just overall, like you're a great person to work with and I've loved like being in this program. So yeah, I would definitely encourage anybody to like that wants to take control of their career or like get into producing to like go do this program. Um, and yeah, definitely. Like I totally enjoy working with you. So. Dope. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Ange. No, I appreciate your time. Um, yeah. I appreciate all the time. Appreciate working with you too. I'm super excited for us to like, you know, get to the end of the program and really like kind of see how everything goes. And yeah. just so excited to see you become more successful. I mean, the songs that you've put out that you've made so far are both bangers. Um, Thank especially you. the second one, I'll wait. I've told you, oh I gosh. love that. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited to also just put you onto other, just like, as I, you see me doing marketing stuff for my own artist career, put you onto yeah. that. One of my biggest goals is like for me to like make money as an artist like a lot or like do an album launch, or like just totally pop on Spotify and then like put that on to my clients and then them do it again. Like, I'm like, Oh my God. Like if I could get that for someone and you're like my case study, I want to do that for us. So yeah. Oh, that's so so glad. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to keep working. We're going to keep doing our thing. I'm super excited. And uh, yeah. Yeah. If you got anything else you need for awesome. me, obviously just, you know, you know how to hit me up, let me know. And I'm looking forward to hearing for the sure. new, the master of a uh, yeah. tracks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually going to do that today because I'm like so inspired already. I'm like ready to do it. Great. Me too. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Thank you awesome. so much. Uh, yeah, anyone who's watching this on YouTube, you can click below, subscribe, book a call with me and uh, chat. You heard it from Ange. She thinks it's a good idea, so you should do it. And That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ange. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Awesome. No problem. Take care, Lee. All right. See you.